Good evening and welcome back to the All the Smiling Faces podcast. Questions and answers. What number is this one? I think I'm going to sack the numbers off if I'm being honest with you because we got really we gave, confused. We gave counting about three or four. We weeks. must be around about well, 40s now. Ago, Mark's definitely 40s. 40s? Oh, yeah. Nah, we're only in the 20s, man. Nah. We're only in the 20s 20 times ago. Nah. I remember one that was around about 25. I remember having... And we've done a few after that one. And did we get a, we didn't get a, to a 27, did we, though? I, t- I reckon we're about 27. I'm going to sack the numbers off, so let's just not concern myself I wish I have said it, sorry. <laughs> Anywho. He's off again with his checklist. Aye. <laughs> so, uh, let's go in, first of all, by going to Gorilla Montoon. So, Gorilla Montoon says, We've signed players, but given the outgoings, can the club still be charged with the net spend acquisition? Accusation. Accusation. <laughs> acquisition. And I, got, I got me accusation acquisitions mixed up there, didn't I? Oh, don't start talking about monochrome acquisitions again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh, so basically... Uh, it's because people are still harping on that we haven't actually spent any money this summer, are we? Because... Yeah. We got thirty million for Perez. in for Perez. Yosley was about what? Three. Yosley was one. 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 Was that it? One. I thought it was one. Quid. One point seven. Quid. One point seven. So, so we've spent we had money. Money, money left over from last year. We we'll have spent money, but in the grand scheme of things, Mike Ashley's always going to be in profit, isn't he? Yeah. We'll in spend, the grand scheme, we we'll spent more than I expected would have spent. I have to be honest there. So I, I expected a similar amount of what McLaren got. So at this moment in time, we're not far off it. Yeah, what what what, what we we'll spent fifty eight on two players, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, so that's I mean around about twenty million off. Yeah. And I yeah. think there'll be a couple of more. Is there a f- fee eight. came out for Jethro? Well, it was a loan. There'll be a loan fee. There will be a fee. fee. But you've got agents fees as well, which he counts in that pot of money, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah, that's oh. so that's that's why it's the pot of money is never as big as you'd imagine. Because well, it is. It is. It's sort of right. You've got ninety million, right? You have got. But 90 then million. loans like but agents it, take two, three it, of that. Yes. So it's like. You might have bought someone for 40, but then Joe Linton's agent's got four. So by the time this video goes out, there might be more signings. So, we've signed, we've so let's be honest. Three, three first teamers. This video will probably go out this, the day the deadline finishes and the window shuts. So it'll probably go out the similar day. So, so we're unsure if we brought any more players in. We're hoping. Well, it's funny you should in. say that, Chris, because we've also had a lot of questions saying if uh, does anybody know who this fella is? No. At this moment in time, no. So we don't. There's uh, a lot of people asking uh, who is the bloke with the shirt? So Who is this? Who's the player holding the Newcastle shirt? Maybe the listener of the podcast the is Leon Best. At St. James's. Wish it was. Who's that fella holding the shirt? So, loads so there's a few questions about that. that. I think it's that. Um, oh, Marlon Harewood. No, I am. Um, his name, no man. Paul Dyke. Paul Dyke. He made it that the day we were sitting here and Chris Cole caught that. Um, Shola. Is it Mag- Magara or Magara? I can't pronounce his name. It begins with an M. The, the midfielder? Yes. Don't know what he's called. That's my guess anyway. Marega. Him. From where's he play? Porto? Striker. He's a striker, is he? Alright, oh, okay. I think it's him. And I'd be very pleased if it was. His record's quite good, you know. 70 odd games for Porto and scored 30 odd goals. So we're, looks, we're bringing in that striker in your guy. So that that's from a, January, that's four players that can play in a striker role. Be like, where are all these gonna fit? Yeah. Do you know what someone said it was the idea about well, we've, lost Hoss, we've lost Hoss we've lost Hosley, we've lost I couldn't sleep with that one. Um, <laughs> we've lost Mitrovic, we've lost Rondon, we've lost Perez. We've lost. Lost. We're not going back that far. No, but like, he's well, left, man. He's I left. Mean, we, we lost Lesford. <laughs> Meaning, I, 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 we didn't replace him, is what yeah. I mean. Um, <laughs> so I was we replaced someone... him with Rondon, didn't we? Who went? Yeah. yeah. So, I know he's. He was never our player. Um, he, um, he was on about the strikers, and he's like, yeah, nah, shite. <laughs> Straight away, just the, the first thing, shite, it's all shite. I says, what shite? He went, well. Who talking about now? Me, mate. All right. saying how shit it was at the moment. He said, that's crap, it's crap. I was like, well, what's crap? He went, well, Bruce said he doesn't want another striker, and we've got enough. He says, we've got five. Bollocks. Shite, we need more, we need more, we need more proven scores, blah, blah, blah. So I says, well, tell us how much the value of our strike force is. Tell us. So you tell us. You tell me how much it is worth. Right now? Yeah. So the three up top? Well, no, no. You we, don't know, we've, got, we've got five strikers. We've got five strikers. So Joe's 40, right? 40. Did, I don't 18 for St. Maximin. Was you classing him as a five, yeah? Was Bruce? I don't know if he was. I'm just. I would class him as a five, so, so yeah, okay, I would right. probably so class 18, him as a five. Right? 20, well. Eight, 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 what do we get Mudo for? No, I'm saying Mudo oh, was ten. 10, 12, something like that. Um, I'll be wrong. Gail was about the so same. Let's say 25 around. And how much would Gail be now? Gail was 10, 10, 10 12. So if you, but if you sold him now? 15? 15. Yeah. Do you reckon? I'll probably I think, think so. we'll probably, probably get the same back for what we paid for him. Right, 12. Yeah. So it's only 100 million pound. Yeah. 
So, uh, you know, I, I I feel, you know, people are saying that it's not enough. You've got £100 million worth of strikers. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd be quite happy with with that forward line that we've... What you mean, Muto? We've got uh, Muto, Gale... I um, think it's Harry, personally. Joe Linton as your, as your three strikers, and then your Almiron and um, St Maximum in, in support of it. Do you not, you're not worried about a similar situation where we were last year, like, say, like sort of Joe Linton gets injured? Who's going to come in and fill that role? I, I, I do get that one, and I, and I was again had that one because he said, "Well, if something happens to him, we're done for." I'm like, "I know, but it's very difficult. Who who are we going to be able to sign right that is willing to sit on the bench for us? Yeah, that's going to be as good as the lad that's going to get injured. Someone like Yoslu. That's it's what it's going to be. Fucking uh, Tottenham could even find don't... someone that was willing to sit on the bench instead of Harry Kane. Mm. Cause that's fucking Tottenham. We're not in a position as a football club to be able to get someone in that is good it, enough that will just sit there and standard, go. Yeah. I'll wait till he gets hurt. I'll be fine. It's just you've got you've got two good. You know, step ins there in, in Gale and Mutual. They'll different they'll players. Both they're different players. They're, they're, not, different they're not of the same physicality and stuff like that. But I just want to take some impact wise, they, 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 they could come on and do do your job last 20 minutes. Do, do I still worry that we might not score enough goals? Yes, absolutely. Because I haven't seen my player yet, probably. So I still worry that we might not get enough goals. But the point I'm trying to make is everyone's banging on saying it's not enough and it's, it's never going to be enough. But we technically have about £100 million worth of forwards. Yeah. And I, I, I don't think that's too shabby, like, to be honest. Like, Next. Um, so Daryl sends in a, a number of questions. Yeah, Quest, well. Question number one: Where would you like? Where would you like to see us still add strength to the squad? Right back, hundred percent. Not again, Yedlin yeah. and Manquillo there. Right back. If I, if I'm picking one position, Sterry it's as well. That, it's that position. I don't think any other area needs as much attention as what that does. Obviously, we brought Williams in on the left hand side. Now you've got like some Paul Dummett, Ritchie, and Williams who can all play on that left hand side. The right hand side, you've got Mankiw and Yedlin, and both came under massive criticism last season. That worries us that side. I think you've got three there in Yedlin, Mankiw, and Sterry. Sterry's looked bad every time I've seen him play in the first team. He's looked bad. He hasn't. He, I think, in I think Sterry will probably go out on it. I think in terms of fair. strength, in terms of adding quality, that is the position that, that my eyes do go to. Defence-wise, we're absolutely sorted. Yeah. I personally, honestly, would I'd like another goalkeeper, you know. Oh, that would be my second. Because yeah. I don't trust Dolo at all. And if so yeah, so Woodman, get, Woodman's gone out on loan. He's gone and out. I, and I said that the day our podcast got released, I thought Woodman would have been my second choice this season. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. That I'm in the same boat. I'm worried. Dolo being our second choice because he's See, I'd, worried I'd, as well. I'd stick Elliot in his second choice. Elliot hasn't like been with the team for the last season and a half. I think he's so. But far we know what we know what he's capable of. I the know, time that I he was in. The next time you see Elliot, I think he's going to be a coach at the club. I'll be shocked if he moves on to a different club. I think he'll be a coach at Newcastle. He said that he, he wants to, to to stay at the club. He wants to live up here, even if he goes somewhere else. He'd always come back yeah. and live here. I think he'll be a coach. I'm in agreement. I think we need someone who's better than Darlow. I think Even so. if that's an aging goalkeeper. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. I, that's what I mean. I, like, no one ever talks about it, but honestly, I think goalkeeper. Like, just, I, I've just got no, like, I don't want to be harsh, but I've got no confidence in Darlow. I, I worry. I worry. And if if something, even if he got suspended, I'm not saying injured, but if, if he got suspended, there's three games. Yeah. And he, he could quite easily get sent off. I mean, he could. Um, it's just a worry. It's a, it's a real worry for me. Like, but. For me, it would be a defensive midfielder. Yeah, because we just so obviously we're losing the missing Yormi. that. Well, we really not, him not that, that he yet. not that he really did much of that role in in his last kind of yeah. eighteen months. We didn't want to trigger that clause. No, well, uh, well, no, he, I, he played. He played uh, the season more finished tenth. The, 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 the season we finished tenth when he absolutely bossed Canty yeah. last game of the season. In about a six to seven month period, he was un mm, unbelievable. Yeah, he was great. He was absolutely unbelievable. I think I told you how much I loved him. He started the him. season shocking, yeah. didn't he? he? He did. I yeah. always liked him. Um, but I probably agree. We've got numbers in centre midfield, but uh, are any of them actually a hard hit like like, midfielder? Probably yeah. not. So, yeah. uh, who do we need to sell or show the door to, and who do we loan out? So, selling wise, you need to sell Callback, Lazar. I'd even put Murphy in there. Atsu. There's a few. I know when you're selling those, you, you're going to be short on numbers. I think Atsu's so like wingers. Has to stay just for yeah, that's what I think when I said it. it. Like you need some replacement wingers. I don't think they're good enough. I don't think they're good enough to come on the subs. If I'm being honest with you. Who wants sorry? So the likes of Callback Lazar, oh, Atsu, I'd, like even when Atsu came on last year's and like I'd keep Atsu around the I place. Would, yeah, I would. Uh, Clark, I'd, I'd probably keep Clark. I, I know, I know for a fact that Derby wanted Murphy. 
Mm. But uh, probably they can't afford them. Some of his wages or something. So I don't know how much is it, but I've heard they can't afford them. So, but maybe he's maybe going didn't give him. We've probably put him on a decent from contract from, from obviously going from Championship to a, to a, to yeah. a Premier League club. So we'll probably put him on a decent contract to drop back down the Championship. It'll probably be a struggle for him. Wage I think, wise, I think it, you know in terms of getting rid of players, Cole Butler's are stand out massively. I'd probably personally, if we did get a right back in, I would let Sterry go and get first team football. Yeah, yeah. Um, let him go out on loan. Same Ma- then, Matty Long stuff as well. Would, would like, let him go out on loan? Would you just want to sell him? Well, he's never going to be good enough. That's what I mean. Yeah. He's, he's still very very young. Is he? Yeah, he's not, he's not I, even bet he's, I bet he's not as young as what you think he is. So, I bet you. I reckon he's about the same age as the guys we're bringing in. Yeah. And we we'll want to start. There's Williams. If he wants him to start next week, about so like all this but, stuff about a player being young, I, I don't believe it. Like mm. young, we saw the likes of Wayne Rooney scoring goals at 16. Like so, so what is the young? Every, 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 everybody's on about bringing time. bloody James Trevenia back from from he's Rangers. 23. He's 23. 23. Jimmy Stanley's 23. He's not young. Jesus. He's he him. should be playing Sell first him. team football he's somewhere. Uh, Sell him. Unfortunately, he's, he's, he's not young. Uh, he's passed it. Yeah, he is. Sorry, Jimmy. If he hasn't made it now, he's not going to make it. Yeah. Well, that's it. We're talking about bringing so, yeah. Tavernia back, but when he was here, he was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. He's he, terrible at Rangers, he, in all he, honesty. He looked, no, he looks great at that level, to be it's fair. Different, Got different a hell of a dead thing. ball as he's, well. He's good going forward, that's it. We've already got one of their. It worries me about. Is he good going forward? We've seen Sterry come in. We've seen Longstaff come in. And like a duck of water yeah, in I the agree. Premier League, and Sterry, you've seen him struggling in cup games massively. Yeah, I, I would, I would get rid. Of, honestly, I would get rid. I would. It's a harder, harder job playing it full back. Left. I would sell Murphy as well. I would actually try and sell Murphy. Shop. I'd, he's just not got it. It's just not got it. <laughs> I say that every week, don't I? Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Next. The question was: With regards to those two questions, will we do it? Well, we'll sell them. So, will we bring in who? Where we would like to strengthen, and will we get yes. rid of him? Yeah, I think like we'll definitely bring another wing back in. We'll bring uh, Kraft going to be done in it, so there's one in. That's Swedish lad. The second bid's been accepted. He'll he'll be sorted. By the time this podcast comes out, he's joined someone else. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, this, so, someone replied. So David Pickham who listens to the podcast, he, he normally downloads audio. He listened to the question and answer of last week, and I think we released it like two days after I recorded it, and he was good. It's outdated already. Yeah, because the ones like in the space of forty eight hours. So much had changed. That yeah. Only at Newcastle United this could happen. Yeah. No, so we're kicking off saying we need more players. Bang, two in the door. I, know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do think we'll strengthen definitely that full-back area. We'll probably not get a goalkeeper. God, I mean, fair enough is what it is. But uh, definitely get the full-back area sorted. And I still think we'll get a striker. I, I think we will. I think we will. Well, be pleased with that. Uh, Chris Heron, friend of the, the podcast. Oh, yeah, Chris here. was the lad that came on for Magpie Group. Is that right? That's the fella. Hi, Chris. Uh, also part of uh, War Flags as well. I think he was part. Of oh yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. So, I was. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chris asks: Are NUFC in a better or worse position than at the end of last season? Worse. And your thinking and reasoning for that? Rafa's gone, so that takes you down a peg. Mm-hmm. Perez and Rondon were proven Premier League goal scorers. So we've replaced them with, with unproven. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but at this moment in time, we don't know if they can do it. And we saw Perez and Rondon could do it. Diorme is gone. I haven't replaced him. And that's about it. I don't think we're far off. I feel the squad's better. Better? I feel it is, yeah. I do. But the rougher situations, you, you, you can't... You can't deny that, can you? You can't fill that hole, can you? It, it, it's as big as, as ever. It, it's... Tough. It's still hard. I'm sick of hearing him. Sick of hearing him talk. Flying helicopter. I was thinking about Newcastle. Sick of hearing him. Sick of hearing his name. Sick of hearing about Rondon. But the question was that, and I still think the squad's probably just as just as good. I think we've. I think it's all right. I, I think, I think right. for me, the thing that we have improved is that strength and depth. At the minute, we've obviously have, brought. Have we We've, we've so. brought we've more players. Have gone out. Brought, brought in. Nah, we've we'll, we'll brought, we'll brought a left back. Well, you you see that, one. but we've got. I think what we, we have, bar, bar, as you say, maybe we're, we're saying Perez, bar. Perez and Rondon, what we've brought in is, is an upgrade on, on what we've Name had, had or, or got. Have we? At this moment in time, we don't know if it's an upgrade. From, we've spent well, more you know, money, but we don't know if it's an upgrade. I, I understand what you say, it, but it's an easy argument, then, isn't it? If we haven't seen someone play, just go, no, we're shite, we haven't improved. But... Nobody, I'm not saying the shy, I'm just saying at this point in time. Nobody, we sat around here day, yeah. week after week after week. What position would you strengthen with number 10? Because Perez yeah. shit. We said, well, if said the it. money's coming in for Perez, you'll sell him. And finally he's fucked off. And we've got two now. We've got Almiron and Saint. Yeah. 
So you can't not say that. Well, that I'm mean, was there last year, so I can't really he, take him in. He might that. score goals, and I'm not saying he hasn't been scoring goals after January. He has been scoring goals, Perez, and that's fair enough. I understand that, but I don't think we're that far off, or even behind. Let's let's there. remember a lot of these goals came from what Almiron was doing. So hopefully, I'm going to be doing the same for the likes of Saint Maximum. Or just just what he showed on on Saturday for me, just. It reinforces what what I've seen from from January from right. him. If he he, if he if will he, cause if he played that role. Will he have? Do you think he'll have more more effect on games than what Perez did? Hundred percent. I would say, yeah. like, I mean, hundred percent. And, and, and that's 100%. not just because it's Perez. You know, Perez used to wind me up something. Well, Perez used to lose the ball a lot. Let's be honest. Like he did. Of course he, he did. I, honestly, if you were on there on Saturday and you watched the role Amaron played, if he does that role, which is what Perez was doing, same positions in that, he'll be head and shoulders above Perez. Head and shoulders. Was he on the right hand side? He was playing all other places. He was playing just behind the striker. Like, yeah. But behind the striker, so he was a 10. Uh, kind of what it used to be under Rafa when we used to have two up front. He was doing that. Well, obviously, we changed to a three. So Rafa time. was adamant he was playing that formation for a while, wasn't he? When I kept yeah. banging the drums in, I yeah. went straight at the back. So that, that was that when we were like, playing well, but not like scoring the goals. Then yeah. we reverted back to the five at the back then, and then yeah. so on. That's when we started playing even better. Yeah. Yeah. But other than, other than the Rafa thing, other than Rafa not being here, I think the squad... Isn't is actually? I'm, I'm going to think outside the box here, yeah, and a lot of people saying, "Oh, like Rafa done this, this, and this." Of course he did. I'd be worried if the players didn't remember that. So what Rafa's told them about how to play football, well, how to right. defend, I'd be worried if the players haven't remembered well, that. We've, and took got, it on board. We've, we've got good defenders at the club. We've we've seen that through last season. So we've seen it in. Just because Bruce is coming in doesn't mean that the players are going to forget that what they've been taught. Oh, I totally agree with you. That's so true. hopefully, of course, Bruce has came in. He's brought his coaching team in, but you hope. And I would hope this would happen at every football club. It's not just the coaches and the management that are doing that. I would hope that players would have some sort of input in saying, have you thought about this? Well, it, it's experience, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you, you're, buy, you're buying a player in. and If you look at a player and you go, oh, he's worked with all of these type of managers. Mm-hmm. You, you're bringing him in. Yes, Give me some of their knowledge. Of course they are. And, and I appreciate you're going to tell them how to play a little bit, but most of it is still down to the yeah. player. And you would hope that the, what the defensive learned or what everybody's learned under Rafa, they'll just carry that through. Mm. You would hope, anyway. I mean, you know. you're just going to, as you say, you're just going to forget it all. Yeah. Not the Matrix, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? Just forget everything. Unplugged. You know, exactly. I brushed in, unplugged, right? So we're dead. <laughs> it's ridiculous. One. So, speaking of Steve Bruce, Liam asks uh, As Steve Bruce took Hull to a cup final, do you think he could do that with us? So, I want to say something on that one, right? So, he came out and said that he feels that the club should, you know, we should be trying for Focus the cups. Focus on cups, yeah. Can we win five, six games? How many times have I sat here and argued with Mark saying, can we not just win five games? Of course we can. Course he said can. the squad's not good enough at Premier League stage. I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm not. But I thought it was really refreshing for someone to come in and say that. Well, we've seen it last season when we went unbeaten for X amount of games. But nobody listened to it, did they? Yeah. No one gave a fuck what he said. They didn't care. If, 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 if a, if a professional else. football club can't win five games in a row, oh, yeah, like, of so course, it's, it's, it's who you come against. Of course but it is. Uh, yeah. we, we pulled off performances against the likes of Man City last season and that come back against Everton. It in can fairness, be done. You're going to play against, when you play against these bigger teams, they're not going to be at full strength because they concentrate on Champions yeah. League and all the rest of it. So you might catch a lot of them with a, with a weakened team anyway. But last season we got beat off. What if I didn't wait at home or something? The Absol- probably the worst performance of the season. Did, did, we, did we sit and watch the Blackburn game here? I think they can get through and went extra time now. Yeah, yeah. Or we did, shite, yeah. Anyway. Um, then the, the next game was against Watford and I'm thinking oh, we'll play Blackburn away then Watford we've got a chance to get the next yeah. game we played utter garbage God, the worst terrible against Watford worst performance and I thought, ever. It, just, it really annoyed us because as much as I loved Rafa I was really pissed off at me at them times going why are we not why are you not getting the players up for this type of game it really fucked us off but anyway going back to the question sorry was what can we get the final <laughs> can, we, can we win a cup no <laughs> but no, I, I don't. I don't because can I be honest? I think getting to the semi-finals, yes. Even perhaps in a stretch, and I'm getting well beyond you. I'm fucking kicking the ball. But could we make the final? Do you know what it is? Yes, with a bit of luck. But you'll get to the final and play Man City. Yeah, and you get Man City chance. No, like what that. did them do? It what? Was it ten out or something? What in the final just gone? Was it eight nil or something? It was a, it was a disaster, wasn't Absolutely it? Absolutely annihilated them. Yeah, and that is the worry. Man City are so far was, ahead. Was Bruce the manager of Hull that game that we watched in? No, he wasn't. I went back and looked at that. No, was it wasn't. not? No. We couldn't even beat Hullman under Rafa. Remember that game? No, that's what... Is that Remember we got beat on penalties? I, was I, Rafa exactly. manager at that time? Well, was manager, he, was yes, he was. Was he? Of course he, he was. We, was scored, we scored, didn't we? We went 1-0. Look, I think he might have scored. Yeah, we we'll flipped on penalties. Diarmi scored. And then we hadn't even sat down. We'd been brilliant up until that no, point as well. We hadn't we? even sat down when we conceded. Matt Sells. Oh, Rafa signed him. I think I was still on the floor because I got my seat. And my seat collapsed. 
So I was lying on the deck and I think I was just getting up when they scored. Well, I joined you when them scored because I couldn't <laughs> open it. Put our hands in, go and piss him. He was, so, he, how bad was he? Oh, terrible. Cells. Crazy. A bit of a follow on from that one then. Shit. So Dell asks, uh, would you rather win an FA Cup this season, get relegated and then stay down for three years or have three decent mid-table Premier League finishes and win nothing? Cup. I'll take Cup in three years in the Championship all day long. You, I don't think they would, though. I, I, I would. I'm not 100% in, no. no I, 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 I would, that because I think... Mid-table in the Premier League. I think you'd win the Cup and they'd just be forgotten about because we're absolute dog shit. It would be amazing Imagine to win the Cup. Day, though. I, I get, yeah, no, I get no, You're like, not going to experience yeah. that day for, for three years in the Premier you League in mid-table. you get relegated in the same season. Well, that's, you get yeah, relegated. Yeah, you yeah. win in the cup, getting relegated, and staying down for three years. That's fine. So I think you'd get. Well, how was that fine? I'm in fucking Wembley, me shirt off. <laughs> but you're going to get. You're going to get relegated first. I don't care. You're going to get relegated. I'm at first. Wembley. Nah, I just. I'm at Wembley. I just, people just complain. They complain about everything else. I've been to Wembley twice. It was shit. But you're winning this time. You've lost <laughs> them times. You win it. I reckon we'd win it, right? Imagine, imagine you being in Wembley. Well, See Newcastle United well, Liverpool. Cup. You. I'm getting you, but, you, but you're still going to now. You're relegated. But to finish, to have three decent mid-table finishes, you're winning some good games there, aren't you? Not necessarily. We well, kind of freaking draw and lose all your games to finish mid-table. Well, you, can't you, you can win all the shit teams. I, I don't think I would take. Um, I don't think it's I would that. Really? It's that three three, three years, years in the championship. Why? Because we we're getting promoted after the third year. <laughs> ah, but then <laughs> try the Bibles. I think. Oh, we're getting relegated. <laughs> <again. laughs> <laughs> you get, well, that's the thing. Even if you do, you then get back down the, the, the following season, don't you? It's as much as I would love to win a cup. I, I don't think I would take three years of that shite. Like you've being got down there would be awful. I, I don't awful. care what people say. Some of that, those games are the best days of my life spent in championship. Are you as mental? No, it, but that's was. one season. But it's a fucking cup again. <laughs> Cup. It's but the hell of a difference having to do it three over three years in that championship. You would forget about the I'd cup. still be the pissed The now. money, the, the, the parachute payment monies would be gone. You, you look at the likes of the, the teams the that parachutes. are struggling now. Fuck them. Look at, look at Middlesbrough. Look where Wigan are now. But again, he hasn't said that in the question. Look where Red now. He, he, he no, but we haven't been relegated. God knows what league. We're just in the championship for three years. You've got a cup. You wouldn't even care about the cup. Though, after I the, would. After the second season, you wouldn't be turning up against Plymouth and Gant, but wouldn't you? If you cup two years ago, I would have a tattoo on us. You wouldn't. Though. You wouldn't. Mark wait, out on his leg. Wait, there's a problem. Wait, wait. What was a tattoo question? Wait, Adam asks. All right, Adam. That Adam. Camera Adam. Not that one. I don't think so. Anyway, unless he's changed his name. Adam. Adam. Adam smells lush. Absolutely unbelievable. Curry. Oh, the curry. So curry Adam Beckett oh. asks, uh, "Hello, lads. Should I get a Newcastle tattoo or not?" It would be my first. Part of the problem. Have you lads got any? So I don't have one. <laughs> I don't know. doesn't have one. You should like, have. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it tattoos, but the one thing I don't have is Newcastle. I do want one. Actually. Mark's got Shit a full fans. leg of, of Newcastle tattoos. I do. So his I, leg I, is part of the problem. The problem. Mark, Mark's <laughs> leg made it in, in the final cut. My leg featured of, on BT yeah. Sports So, so it, it's a feature that's going on BT Sports. It's going on Sky Sports this week as well. So, so Mark's leg is... It's part it's of It's not. Problem. It's not about my leg. <laughs> I just need to make that clear. So yeah, the show isn't about my leg. Me and Mark done a bit of work. It was more him. interesting than what he had to say. So yeah. there's just so many yeah. on his leg. So so we're done. Something we got. We got an email from the Premier League saying, "Oh, do you want to take part in this? It, it, we, we, we need to, some new Castle United fans to come on. Just talk about the season and and expectations of the season coming forward." So we're there just having a laugh, like just doing the normal crap that you do for those sort of things. Just talking about Joel Linton, Steve Bruce, blah blah blah. Then. It's coming towards the end. I was like, "Odd, oh, like, why don't you like record his leg?" <laughs> and the lad was like, "Like, laughed a little bit at first. Next minute, <laughs> and then it was like, me and him are walking you could up the see, steps. You could see it, it, it going around in his head. Oh, actually, I could do something with so, that. Yeah, so, really slow motion. It'll oh, be, oh, be great. Uh, I did I send you the photo of your leg yesterday? I have seen yeah. it. Yeah. Have you seen it? I can't wait to see your leg. I can see it now, but I mean, it'll be even better on telly. So it was a really, really like random experience. Everybody's going to be wondering now what. I wonder what Mark's leg looks like. You'll have to. You'll have to stand on your chair. Stand on your chair. Take a picture. You've got your shorts on. Not stand on your chair. Stand on your chair. Stand on your chair. Adam will zoom in on your leg. Do the switching music. Oh. And get it high enough. But you've cock away. Where you going? What are you doing? Stand on your chair. Cock away. Oh, that chair's reinforced. Wait. I'll start. Will I start on the inside? There you go. I. That's what she said. Oh, I like the bottle. So I'll start on the in before, inside. Really got two badges there. Come around the front. Got Angel of the North at the front. This is really the worst for people like listening on audio. Brownie, oh, he sacked me off. He sacked me off already. He's not even looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a photo. We'll put the photo on. You know, I, I, I like the, the back. back's the, the back. best. You didn't look at the back. You get really caught at the back. I was looking at your arse, I was. 
You'll see the back in the video anyway. You'll see it's the back in the video. Yeah, yeah, so it's on Sky Sports and BT Sports. Anyway, that was quite, uh, quite funny, wasn't it? Uh, oh. I've just Do you think anyone's got the, Ashley out one? Lost the questions? Oh, yes. Right. 100%. Can you imagine getting him tattooed on you? I fuck man. One guns on two people's heads. Oh, but didn't so, answer his question? No. Don't get a Newcastle tattoo for your first tattoo. That was my, that was actually my first tattoo. What was? The bad badge. I, if you've got any kids in that, I, I would say get it. Would you? I would, I, yeah. Get it down on you. Yeah, on, down your on your leg. leg on your arm. I, so I, I wanted to get it done, but I, I, I'm kind of old now, like. For that, so I was I was going to get it done though. Never, never too old to support your team. True. Part of the problem. Part of the problem. Though. James asks, "Will we be a bit more attacking this season?" He certainly hopes so. <laughs> but I can also see us losing by four, five, and six. Something that rarely happened under Rafa. Right, that's definitely going to happen. We're going to yeah. lose games. No, not a massive amount, but we're going to lose a games more than what we. But we we did under Rafa. Four well, we nil. Liverpool's only game. That was only yeah. one. Liverpool to That was only one. Only one I can remember, to be fair. I don't think we'll Especially last season by five or six goals. We lost about ten in a row now, Rafa. I remember the start of the season, but only two ones though. We'll definitely lose a game by five goals this season. How much more than that? I don't think so. I'll bet me. Again, we, we've just been sitting here talking about that defenders don't forget how to no, no, defend we will. and stuff like that. I think it's my... very rare that, that games like that happen in, in the, the, the top Is it? top level. You don't see many five downs and six. Any chance. Man City, the, there's times when they just run right against some oh, teams. They do, but when they're on top form, they could annihilate. I us. think it'll be threes and fours. I, can't, I don't think we'll get absolutely butchered by anyone. I mean, butchered fives and sixes. I, I think it'll be at least one. Uh, Aaron, Aaron sends in. Have you missed me? We haven't had any questions in from Aaron from for a while. Aaron, Aaron. How can you, you see that? Is he even on? Yeah. God. Aaron, how bad are your eyes? So he asks, uh, now the army is gone, who's got the biggest donga in the squad? His money's I'll tell on you what it is. his money's on Joel Linton. Oh, I well, actually he's lushing now, like. I think that uh, what's his oh, I his name every time. Williams. Is it Williams? Does Williams. everyone always send a dick question? <laughs> Does, it's always a dick question with him. Is it Williams? I bet Williams Williams is right. Uh, Aaron he has to tie us up. Like he's, tie he's got, before he plays. He's got height and <laughs> so I reckon he's. Uh, I think he's got, probably has got a massive schlong. I seen him literally. I seen him put his hand over the ball and literally block the sun. What his dick or his, his hand? hand. Oh, so big go. hands. Uh, right, moving on. <laughs> he also wants to buy us a pint to thank us for all the content that oh, uh, nice. we've been putting out. Thanks, Rune. So thank Cheers, you. Man. We'll send you the bank details for the pub that we're recording. <laughs> <Can> <laughs> Uh, Louis Louis asks do you think a front three of ASM Joel Linton and Almiron is the way forward this season what happened to your voice eh? I went all uh, ethnic yeah, and did. started first two pronouncing were tremendous, it tremendous the first two Joel Linton and yeah Almiron. so it's not Joel Linton apparently it's Joel Linton Joel Linton Joel Linton jo- like, like Joel. Joel like Billy yeah so it's like Joel Joel I've lost it the Billy, Billy part Billy Joel Oh, right, I've got you, right? Well, Jesus like, Christ, what a, that's the worst way to explain really, his name. It was, wasn't it? A bit like Billy. Uh, who? who calls him Paul Billy Robert. Joel? Billy Joel? <laughs> Billy Joel? <laughs> it's Billy Joel? <laughs> what? You could have said no, I didn't get there. It's Billy Joel? <laughs> it's Billy Joel? It's not Billy Joel. I was thinking of Billy Piper. I think, what the hell are you doing? Do you have a girlfriend? Billy Askin. Julie, you're a bit like Billy. Aye, got you, mate. Got you. Me. What was the question again? I can't even remember now. Oh, <laughs> do, you, do you think the front three yes. is going to be the way forward this it's, season? Yes, it's, yeah. Has th- to be. Well, th- it's going to be two, isn't it? I think that in as the season goes on, we will go to that. We will go that through the through the just pressure and having to do it. I think. Like what I did with the back three thing. Just like Billy. Cool. Uh, Marty, Marty sends cool. in. Did you just say cool? Billy there. <laughs> Did you just say cool? Say cool? Oh, don't know. <laughs> Do you want to get my cap and turn backwards? <laughs> cool. Marty says, can you actually boycott a game that you weren't going to go to anyway? Is he not going like? Oh, no, so he's talking he's, about the fans that going. don't normally go to the games that are saying, I'm not going to the game. Is he talking about that? Uh, well, he might be. There's loads. Yeah, I think he's talking There's about that. There's loads of people that have yeah. never been to a game that are yeah, I think someone actively told me, boycotting it. Someone that told me in Swansea that they weren't going to the game that day. No, I love you. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's like that one last week that I told you, told you about, didn't I? Yeah. Never been to a game in 13 years, but he's boycotting. Never been to a game in his life. Not, not gambling, actually. Hey ho. If you want to go to the game, go to the game. If you don't, if you want to boycott, boycott. Exactly. What are you doing over there? JR, the JR says, How are we feeling about Sunday? Uh, he's feeling quietly confident, and he thinks Joel Inton 
AMS and Almiron, and going to or going to cause Arsenal defenders all sorts of problems. Maybe. I, I, I think they'd cause it's that pre-season enthusiasm and and hope and optimism is is here. Are, are isn't you it? allowed to have that though, Mark? Well, yeah, um, it is. Hey, I, I'm with you though. I'm with you. I, I, I can't help but be excited a bit. All for us. I was. I think the signings have, have excited me. I, I can't mm. deny that. I honestly can't deny that. And um, I think if you did play, all, if you did play three of them, there's going to be periods in the, in any game of football that them three will absolutely. I would. Lo- I would them. love to. To just to change things a little bit and to see what the reaction would have been if these players had arrived on their Rafa. Won the league. Won the league. Well, well, Hayden wants to bring the mood down a little bit. Hayden says, just how much of a letdown is it that exciting signings like St. Maximin and Joel Linton are going to be managed by the elephant man? But I don't, th- I don't think that's for the other side of the coin, like what he's saying there. Yeah. Like like, let's remember, Alan Pardew got managed at the season. Then he parted with them all the season he's the only, after. He's the only one that's won both. I, I, I honestly think this season you'll you'll probably have an impact from from Bruce coming. If there's already been a lot of the players coming out and talking about how how good it is in in training. They're in they're enjoying themselves. It's a nice place to be. Talking about the the, the coaching staff and stuff like that. And you know, as as I said to you, you you two. Yesterday or today, whenever it was, you you expect those comments. It's what you generally hear, but you know, I, I think it probably is very different because Rafa would have been, you know, quite clinical around what he was doing, very focused on just making sure everything was was a certain way in his way only. Whereas Bruce is probably is more relaxed and more of a a, a, a player, a, a manager of the players, like you know, through their their motivation and and stuff like that. So. They probably find it more relaxed and more enjoyable. So, I saw Rafa take a training session. He didn't get involved. So he comes out with the paper. Obviously, he comes out with a setup of what he wants executed in the training session. He doesn't take it, any of it. It was the coaches doing it. What was the little one called? It was a Paco. Paco. Yeah. yeah. He was taking a lot of it. He was the one like screaming at players. Left, right, and so it was him taking a lot of it. I think Rafa was a similar like like sort of. Venga never used to take training, did he? Venga used to stand on the sidelines and watch. The I, I just, get on with it. I'm just not for that, like at all. Like as as a for for me, if I was the manager, I'd want to be literally front line, yeah. watching things, talking to the players, like that. Like what Bobby Robson used to be, what Kevin Keegan used to be like. I used to go and watch Newcastle train all the time when when I Kevin Keegan. Keegan was joining in all the time. I mean, Bruce. Would so don't get us wrong. Like Rafa was taking players aside, like now and again, yeah. and like. At the end of the training session, he got all the defenders over, so a handful right. of defenders, and like he used to go with them for a good five ten minutes. Just yeah. everyone else had gone off the pitch, and just defenders left, so focusing on, on on what was happening. Obviously, he didn't know who his back four were going to be because he had like seven of them out. Obviously, I'm, I haven't I, told them yet. I'm, I'm not saying there that, that I'm not sorry saying that the manager should be taking training. I understand he's got coaches and other people yeah. to do that. I just think like I don't know. I would just I would expect. As a player, I would expect my manager mm-hmm. to be watching this. I don't know. I just so he was there. Like, what what happened? So he he comes out, then he comes straight over to 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 the lads that were there watching, and he says, "This is what's going to happen in training." He had like a, a clipboard there, and he had like a, loads of prints off some paper saying, "This is this, this is and like formations, blah 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 blah, stuff like corners and free kicks and all that sort of stuff." But then after that, he just takes a, a step back and lets his coaches get on. Maybe that's just what managers do. But yeah. I think people are yeah. under the impression that Rafa's physically. On the training ground, kicking the ball about with the players, he's not. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. There wasn't from afar. Lots of people they haven't got a clue what happens. Mm-hmm. Really, they haven't got a slightest. Um, but you, because I appreciate everybody believing in Rafa, so it, it, it's, yeah. it's very hard for people. At the moment, you can't really say anything about Bruce. So for me, I I would imagine, and again, I don't know this. I'm just saying that I think Bruce would be the type that I think he would have had over Shelby by now, and literally will be pulling up Shelby saying, "Listen, that you are." Mm. My midfielder, you are going to, you, you, yeah. you know, try. He seems more that type of manager, doesn't he? That could yeah. like have an actual chat with you, like all around you. Just, oh, like, man, that's yeah. the type that now will that work? Will it work for the full Possibly year? Not. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just saying, but the then you, you flip around a lot. Of, last season, we, we give Rafa credit by taking a like if I'd won a game, he'd be straight on the pitch of one player saying, Should have done this better, blah 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 yeah. blah. Take them one side and being that sort yeah. of manager, yeah. so like which. It's probably the best of both worlds that you need. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, I agree. And, and I agree. Rafa and Bruce, let's be honest, they're completely different managers. They're totally different, yeah. Totally different. Totally different. Cool. So we've got a lot, of, a, cool. a lot more a lot more questions than that, but I think we're uh, we're rapidly running out of time. Right, one more. One more. One more question. Um, 
Francis asks, how much game time do you think Matty Longstaff will get this season? None. None. <laughs> well, being honest, none. Is that my answer? I don't want to say none, but... None, none. being honest, none. I, th- I think he'll probably go out on loan. Yeah, so none. I don't think he'll get any with him. It's a shame, because he's been heavily involved in pre I don't, I don't think it is a shame. Bruce likes him. I don't think it is a shame. I think it's only right that he goes out and gets first. Like, Sean Longstaff done it. Yeah. I think it's only right that he goes and... Because from under 23s to Premier League football is a huge jump. Massive. Yeah. Under 23 isn't really competitive football these days, man. I think, yeah, uh, no, I agree. I think for his career and I think for experience, I think going out on loan will be good. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Needs to go out on loan, so, so zero, zero minutes. And that's not because I'm saying that he doesn't, like, no, 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 he's no, not no, good no, enough, no, but, no. but zero minutes. Yeah. I think he should go out on loan. Yeah. Okay, so flipping it on its head, then Young Mono asks, who do you reckon out of the players coming back to the team will get the most game time? Well, so the, like the lads that were loaned out so, last season and then yeah, come back yeah. in. Yeah, so those that have been out on loan that are, so the likes of Lazar, <clears throat> called back. Hopefully none of them. Severe, Murphy. Yeah. I, I am Gale. turning to you. So Gale. hopefully none. I thought called back, you know, at first, because yep. he wasn't even in the squad on Saturday, was he? So, I don't know if you, why, but I don't know if he was hurt or not. But I thought called back would have been the one, because I thought he could I have, think but, uh, Aaron's. Aaron's. Yeah, Aaron's. Aaron's. Yeah, Aaron's if any, and I don't think there'll be much time. Nah. but I think if there's uh, going to uh, be someone, unless we buy another striker, Gail for me. Really, I think Gail's going to get ahead over Mudu. Probably, no, I which know. I wouldn't like to say that, but I don't know. Well, as I say, I'd like to keep both of them, but Aaron's. I'd say Aaron's. Aaron's, be Aaron's. Aaron's yeah, I'd be happy yeah, to have Aaron's have a good season. Well done. You got one more? We would be here uh, literally for, for hours. Loads, We've got loads and loads, loads of questions this 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 week, but I well, don't think go we can. Neil Jar. Oh, hi Neil. <laughs> if Maguire is worth 85 million, then how much is Shaw or Lejeune worth? My oh, life. 140. One million billion hundred thousand trillion dollars. Jesus Christ, I wish I had to stop that last question. <laughs> <laughs> One million dollars. I wish people would just stop talking about Shaw when, whenever they mention Harry Maguire, though. Like, stop Alan, talking they? about him. Really? Yeah. Alan? I, I don't mean this to be bad, but I don't think like my United Scouts is on Twitter. I look what Alan says. Or oh, I say. Do you know what I mean? So if I go on there and go, God, Sean must be worth 100 million, and they go, who's a Sean guy? Oh, I think there might be. I, I, don't, I don't think, think so. there might be. Well, just look at what's been happening, you know, after the, our podcasts the last few weeks. Yes. Everything's been... So everything. Well, we're, 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 we're like the Simpsons fair. now. Right. What are we going to demand next? We're telling the future. What are we going to demand next? Let's think of something just ridiculous. <laughs> Champions League football. Champions League football under Steve Bruce. That's so what's coming next. we get into Europe. Fucking hell. God, people, can you imagine? People would be absolutely... Devastated? Ballistic, They'd be devastated, wouldn't they? They'd be good. They'd be He's right, they'd be good at it. Well, you got the champion bit right. It's champion. the end of that, that word that you got wrong. Shit. <laughs> it would be hilarious, though. Well, that's well, all right. You want to go down for three bloody seasons? Three seasons. I'll win the FA Cup. Win the FA Imagine Cup. Imagine that, man. FA Cup. Imagine it. Imagine it would that. be amazing in that in that moment. Imagine like, all of us in... in well, Decker wouldn't be there because you wouldn't see you on a match there. I'd be the director of box somewhere. Decker wouldn't see you. With. So imagine us. Oh, imagine what. I don't Wembley. want to imagine it. Being relegated. Remember how good Man U away was? Yeah, but you weren't relegated then. We lost the game. See, I went to Wembley twice and it was amazing until we, you then, lost them? And then, until we then played but, but football. We're winning and then this one. We're winning like this one. We've we've won. Won. I know, but then... That has been so... Imagine so, that that's, that's me. We're I, winning I can, on the end of it. I can live, live with that in May, June and July, but then we'll kick off the, the yeah. season in August in the Championship. And but then we've got that for three years. Yes, that's I'm with him. Imagine <laughs> that day... At Wembley that you had, then winning on the end of it. I know. But Imagine it. Oh. Yeah, but it's a bit like having sex, right? Having the best shaggy life, and then you can't. And have then sex never again having sex years. again. You know, but you can. You're going to forget well, you can't it. Have no, but it's. But you're going to forget about how good that session was. That was an amazing that, a couple of hours. That like, but I'm never going to have it again for three years. Time your life, though, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but you forget about it though. I wouldn't forget about it. It'd still be there on my Martin Piece. Like, I don't know what's going to be on my Martin Piece. Martin Piece, what? Well, that's <laughs> a of a vagina. You'd be, uh, <laughs> you'd be having, you'd be having like the odd occasional wank. Vagina wand. You'd trophy. be having a wank thinking back to that time that you'd had that fantastic sex while not getting any or being in the chat. That's that, them brief moments that you yeah. have in the championship well, when you're, you're not shagging like Jennifer Anderson in our prime and then you're shagging Susan Boyle for three years. I'm not, I don't think it's It's that like having Rafa show. Benitez as your manager for two years. Oh. <laughs> 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 right thanks to Guillermo Clothing thanks to Jordy Gibbs for sponsoring the podcast once again they're here for the, for the rest of the season they've got discounts you'll see the discount codes below and the links below thank you very much good night next year next season this season next year see you in a few minutes